my people my people new government new policy how to ask you this question what exactly do you want president bola ahmed Tinubu to focus on in his first hundred days in his office hmm, i know plenty people have many things to say let me go around and ask my fellow nigerians let me hear what they have to say good afternoon please what do you want uh, president bola ahmed Tinubu to focus on in his first hundred days uh, i think uh, these first hundred days i think uh, we are not expecting much rather than putting the right people in the right right position yeah so you should actually get the right hands put them in the right position because at this point in time decision making matters let's not put people that we jeopardize our economy and put us in great danger you should at least get the right people give them the right position and allow them to do the right job because most of the time he will not be the one to make the decisions so i think this 400 days he should put the right people at the right position the ministers anyone is appointing should be competent should be able to deliver the job that the nigeria called them thank you thank you very much Actually, looking at the first subsidy presently that is telling much on people, what I would have suggested, based on my own knowledge, that you should see how it could cushion it a little bit, that most of the, all, all the masses will be able to flow in, despite this policy of the removal of first subsidy presently. And uh, if we are to look at it in the aspect of uh, looking for palliatives, it, I believe is another aspect of scam that will tend to withdraw some part of the fund that we are trying to muzzle in as a, as a nation. So what I will say, with, within his power, if you can do as much as he's been enabled to do to help the masses, not to feel the impact of this first subsidy based on the economy and the business businesses that everyone is engaging presently because it's telling much on everyone and i believe if it's to put into consideration the masses there will be a better way of resolving this and it should be better for everyone okay me as a citizen of nigerian what i would love president um Tinubu to do for the citizen of nigerian is at least an average nigerian should have a better life like in the sense that as an average Nigerian, you can. The first thing I want him to do for us is to bring down, down the cost of food. That's like the cost of food. The, the the cost of food in the market is becoming high day by day. And another thing again is that uh, electricity. When you come to power supply, and I think we are having issue of power supply in Nigeria. So I want him to work on that aspect. And. Issue of um, education, like an average Nigerian should have a better education. Then I think another thing again is I'm begging him on behalf of all the citizens of the country to bring down the cause of uh, living. That is the most important thing. Because before, as a citizen of Nigeria, if you're earning a salary of 30,000 in a month, you can be able to survive with that 30,000. But now that 30,000 is just like 5,000 naira, let me just say 3,000 naira, which is very, very difficult for almost. Insecurity in terms of uh, charging the his ministry personnel, um, the chief of army staff, to face and to tackle it in the sense of letting the people to know that life and valuable are the most valuable part for the system and for his government and equally um, job um, to provide employment. We need them, I beg. Make them come back to us so that at least we, the new masses, can be able to have something to go to say. I would like Mr. President to focus on two areas. One is security. Because security is very essential. Is where people, our, our life of Nigeria is at the risk. Every day we are losing a lot of these people, killing by bandits, arm or whatever. So, uh, as a concerned citizen, I would like my president to focus on security areas. Secondly, is an economy. Because as a result of bad economies that we have in Nigeria, it is also 
a kind of action situation we find ourselves today. Our presidential action. So, Mr. President, I would like you to focus on our this economy, particularly in our NERA. Our NERA has been devalued. Our currency has no value in the international market. As a result, so as a president, I would like you to focus on this to stand our NERA to have more value in the international economy. That is my two areas that I would like Mr. President to focus on it. Uh, village people, they focus this insecurity challenge. Some people do not feel sleep in their houses and they, there are some more children, some women do not feel sleep, some men do not feel stay with their family and they attend to them. This thing is very painful, especially small, small children when they, when you know, when they know they're here, they don't know what is going either now or tomorrow. 